Very good. So um, I was asked to uh, give a very brief introduction into uh, essentially job opportunities uh, in, and I take that now a little bit broader, the Vienna research landscape uh, for young RQI uh, entrepreneurs, uh, if, I, if I may say so in the academic uh, sense. I start first with the uh, ICOKI here, so with the Academy Institute, and then we'll say something more general also. So the, you are here at um, one of the institutes of the Austrian Academy of Sciences. The Koki Vienna is one uh, of, by now, already 26 research institutes that span the whole range of physical sciences, life sciences, and humanities. And um, let me just, sorry, I don't know why this doesn't work. Interesting. Okay, no. Um, so basically, well, you have already been guests now at uh, Ikoki for a few days. I hope you're enjoying it. So what uh, we take uh, we take pride in is that um, we really have a, we think a unique mix um, of uh, theory and experiment under one roof with a very specific focus on foundations of quantum physics, foundations of uh, space, time, matter and uh, well, everything that, uh, that comes with it. The institute itself was uh, founded in 2000, 2003. We had originally, this was one institute with two locations in Innsbruck and in Vienna. The, the founding director here in Vienna was uh, Anton Zeilinger. Uh, by now, the uh, two institutes are uh, two separate uh, institutes of the Austrian Academy of Sciences. The building you're in is a historic one. It's an historic site also of the European Physical Society. This was um, originally founded as the Institute for Radium Forschung, so basic research on the science of radium, which 100 years ago, 110 years ago when it was founded, uh, was uh, assumed to be the um, material and topic of the future. Everything will be driven by radium and um, uh, both technology and medicine. And this is why a lot of money back then was invested into this direction. It's like high TC superconductivity in the 1990s, uh, where you saw all the institutes growing. The institute uh, itself consists um, right now um, of um, eight groups in different domains. Uh, we are in total on the order of uh, 60 scientists uh, plus 40 guest researchers um, uh, means we are on the order of 100 people crawling around here, at, uh, the spaces both here and at the, um, at the Faculty of Physics, uh, just over there. We, have, uh, we, we run on third-party grants and we have a couple of laboratories that are in-house and um, uh, also external, the one that I showed you where Hans is doing his uh, experiments at, at the moment. We uh, have uh, a division uh, in uh, experiments here. This is uh, myself and uh, Anton Zeilinger as group leaders of the Institute. And on the theory side, we have uh, Chaslav, Markus and uh, Miguel as group leaders. So all of those positions are actually tenured positions at the uh, Academy of Sciences. Chaslav and I are at the same time also scientific directors of the Institute, which means that uh, this is sort of the um, foundations for the direction, uh, scientific direction of the institute. At the same time, uh, we are hosting the independent research groups. Um, we always put a junior also, such that everyone feels young. And uh, the <laughs> we have uh, currently uh, we have uh, three research groups that are running: uh, Peter Asenbaum's um, research group. Uh, on gravitation quantum physics, he's doing experiment. He just started his group in October. Uh, we have the YIRC uh, group um, uh, with uh, Jelena is remaining. This group is uh, running out next year. And uh, we already have a follow-up group coming. Um, we have uh, Esteban Castoruiz joining us. And we have uh, Marius Christodolo uh, running his group on the quantum information structure of space-time. Now, uh, this is the structure that we have here uh, currently at the Koki. Let me tell you a little about, a little bit, some, 
let me tell you a little bit about career opportunities in general, both at the Institute and um, here in Vienna. So first of all, it's very important to stress, uh, and I think less to the audience here, but hopefully also to the ones who are, who are listening online, that on any level, we are always welcoming applications from both young and experienced researchers all over the world who basically well, share the enthusiasm that we have, have doing our work. So I, I really um, often get this question, uh, oh, do we have any job openings? I haven't seen anything, so I didn't apply. No, that's not how it works. Okay, you just apply. If you think the research that the group is doing is really cool and you would like to contribute, uh, then you just apply. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the next thing is uh, if we go directly to master and PhD candidates. Um, so on that level here, there are several ways of uh, getting our attention or getting into the Vienna research landscape. First of all, um, apply to the group directly. Just write the group leaders and uh, see if they have uh, interest or capacity. Or you can also apply directly to one of the PhD programs that we have for the uh, Vienna research landscape. In particular, we have uh, biannual calls for the Vienna Center for Quantum Science Technology, VCQ. So um, this is actually our center um, uh, that has by now um, the, 20, collects 20 PIs over uh, four institutions uh, in Vienna, um, foundations, technology oriented, you uh, name it. Then you can apply to the Vienna Doctoral School of Physics that is hosted by the Faculty of Physics of the University. Uh, there's also the uh, uh, Institute of Science Technology Austria that has PhD calls and uh, this is coming up uh, early next year. We have a new cluster of excellence that is Austria-wide with Austria-wide uh, initiatives and also uh, PhD calls and, ma and calls for master students that will open soon. Uh, PhD positions are fully funded. We also always, uh, we very often get that question. So basically, do I have to bring my own money when I come as a PhD? No. When you are being made an offer, then uh, you can be sure that uh, the position is paid for and you don't have to work for free. In addition, uh, we also have um, uh, opportunities for excellence fellowships that always come up um, uh, situation dependent. Now on the postdoc level, again, uh, you should contact the groups directly. Uh, on top of that, there are also several fellowship, fellowship opportunities, both on the European and on the national level. On the European level, you may be well aware of the Marie Curie fellowships on the Austrian level. Uh, we do have uh, coming up the Quanta Fellowships of our, of our Cluster of Excellence. This was previously the ESQ, ESQ postdocs. You will still find that online if you look for that. Uh, the FWF, our Austrian funding agency, also has uh, postdoc fellowship possibilities where you can apply together with a group that hosts you then. And um, if you're interested in coming as a visiting fellow for either a couple of months or just a week, then uh, we have possibilities over our research network tourists on um, space time and uh, gravity. Now, the last level of your scientific career, if you are interested um, in uh, joining us uh, with one of the independent research group. So um, here is the, um, here's the gist um, of our approach. So we, we do host independent research group. I already showed you our current uh, three running groups. These groups are limited to five years and there's no tenure option. So this is an idea that we adopted um, uh, following the, the Max Planck Junior groups where the successful group leaders, um, after they have interacted with us, uh, actually um, typically receive um, positions, position offers that are either tenure track or permanent uh, somewhere, either in Austria or abroad. So this has been a very successful uh, model at Max Planck. And uh, we think that the type of infrastructure and environment, academic environment, that we can provide actually is very well suited for exactly uh, that. Uh, currently, uh, I already showed you, uh, we have eight groups uh, at the moment. Um, the, the, this is what we have in capacity in our building. 
there is no opening um, at present, which does not mean, I come back to my point before, that if you're interested, you should not contact, contact us um, regardless. Then there are other opportunities for independent researchers. Um, you check out the ESC grants, FWF start grants, uh, universities uh, in Vienna, uh, research institutions in Vienna and in Austria are always interested to talk to you when you come with such funding in your bag. Now, because um, you bring in a lot of uh, money already and resources and um, there are situations where you also can negotiate uh, actually uh, relatively um, um, attractive um, packages with the university. Also, just monitor you know, the landscape. Every now and then there is tenure track uh, openings uh, at the different universities here uh, in Vienna uh, or even just all over the Austrian research landscape. Just to make the point that um, the, with respect to promotion of young talent, we do have a successful track record and these are just a couple of examples over the last two years. So um, here we have uh, three examples of group leaders. Markus Huber who was an independent research group leader. De Koki is now a professor at the TU Wien and director of the Atom Institute. Uh, Constantino, who was a YIRC group leader uh, at De Koki, now has a faculty position in Italy. Uh, Rupert Ursin was a group leader here at the Koki on the experimental side. He's now running his own company. Actually, now it's two companies. Another example of the group of uh, Miguel, uh, Miriam. Uh, she was a postdoc and then has acquired not only a couple of very successful postdoc fellowships, but now also has, um, uh, uh, has um, g managed to get a permanent group leader position at the University of uh, Geneva. Other example from um, Huber. What? Uh, group leader in Geneva, sorry, sorry, group leader. Oh, okay, right, okay, very, very nice. So even even better. So, <laughs> so I was half right <laughs> and not wrong. <laughs> uh, another another example here: um, uh, Hayata from Marcus Huber's group has now uh, become assistant professor in Tokyo. And in total, also uh, within the last two years, uh, eight of our postdocs at Ikoki have acquired prestigious fellowships, both national ones and uh, EU ones. So I think with that, I, I hope it's, it's clear that um, here the research landscape um, at Ikoki, at in Vienna, uh, is very promising. It's, it's a good place to be for, from the master level up to the, uh, to the group leader level. Uh, we think we have many nice examples where we have uh, acted as a nucleus for new publication-wise, um, uh, scientific achievement-wise, and um, we uh, actually hope that this will continue uh, in the future. So um, I essentially will uh, stop with that. If you have any further questions, again, please just write to the group leaders themselves, um, get in touch, uh, ask Chaslav because I have to teach now. And <laughs> Very good. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, we will continue on time, so in half an hour at uh, half past three.